Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Stay Corp. All right, beautiful. We need to, uh, today, we need to uh, head over to, um, yeah, we'll go around there. We need to head over to, uh, uh, to Recanto. Um, we've got to, I, I need to have a look around there, see what, what type of work and stuff needs to be done. Um, I also probably need to start some work and look into uh, getting some employees and stuff like that. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to head over there and um, and see what's going on. Probably, uh, probably, I, I think we're probably going to need to uh, to maybe do some mulching and stuff over there as well while we're over there. So we're going to set everything up, get everything ready to go, um, so that we are ready for. Uh, ready for anything that's going to hit us and make sure that we uh, get the best crop that we possibly can of, uh, of coffee beans for the um, uh, but, but well, by the end of, by the end of this harvest the trees looked in pretty good condition so I'm, I'm guessing that uh, that we shouldn't have too much trouble really well that is the guess anyway but uh, yeah it seems to me there's going to be quite a lot of work over there and uh, like quite a lot of work to do. So um, so we'll see what we've got. We'll see what we've got. The airport is looking absolutely fabulous here. Absolutely brilliant. All right. Let's, uh, I'm just going to park up over here, I think. Parking amongst these fine vehicles. That was a bad park, Simmy. That was a bad park, wasn't it? There we go. Right there, lovely. Okay, let's do it. Let's uh, let's uh, jump in the heli, and uh, I will see you guys uh, again. I won't film the flight over there. I'll. Um, it's probably a little bit boring, but uh, I will see you guys over at uh, at Recanto. Okay, here we are. We hit a uh, we hit a bit of rain on our way up here, which is a little bit crazy. Absolutely and utterly crazy. One thing that we're going to have to work out uh, is I'm going to need to need to set up a. Uh, if I'm going to fly over here, I think I'm going to need to set up a uh, a bit of a permanent uh, permanent place to land the helicopter because uh, landing it in this little field down here is probably not the way to go all the time. I don't think so. All right, let's uh, see if we can line ourselves up here. Yeah, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough today. I don't know what happened with the uh, with the rain. It just uh, it just sort of uh, it gradually got a little bit darker as I came in, and uh, and here we are. All right, let's get this thing landed here and uh, see what we need to do. Okay, I'm just going to spin you around there. That should be okay. That should be okay. Probably about there, I think. There we go, lovely. All right, perfect. Yeah, it's a little bit dark out here. It's a little bit dark, indeed. All right, wait for those uh, blades to finish and uh, settle themselves down. All right, that's looking good. Okay, lovely. Let's uh, jump out of there. She's a beautiful thing to fly. Absolutely beautiful thing to fly. Yep, there's a lot of thunder and stuff in here. Probably uh, pick the worst day, the worst day to possibly come. All right, what do we got here? I think we're probably going to need to do some mulching and stuff. Uh, what I might do is I'll give it a, a bit of a test out, and we'll probably head into town and uh, and let everybody know, let uh, let the dealer, let uh, Jacto know that uh, that we are ready to uh, we are ready to start uh, employing and stuff, and we'll do some interviews, and we'll get some people. Uh, we'll get some people out on the farm, which will be really, really cool. Yeah, it's definitely, uh, definitely a lot wetter up here, and we're only sort of an hour north of uh, an hour north of our farm, so it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I may sell that trailer off. I think I might sell some of the assets off here. I reckon is probably a really good idea. Now yeah, let's uh, let's see. So everything uh, everything is okay. It looks like looks like they purchased the F one hundred as part of the uh, as part of the farm deal as well. We may end up staying here for a couple of days. I think um, depending on how this weather treats us and stuff, it may be that uh, that we do need to stay here for a couple of days. So looks like everything's in there. I don't know why 
they didn't well we left the door open i think didn't we last time we were here all right let's uh let's jump in this little beast here and see what we can uh see what we can achieve in regards to uh we'll probably hook up the uh we're gonna hook up the cultivator i think okay there we go oh she's a nice she's definitely a nice tractor i don't think this tractor is very old to be honest seems to be a little bit newer than uh a little bit newer than the uh than the landini sitting there all right we'll get you and we'll hook you up lovely a little bit newer than that uh, a little bit larger as well i don't know whether that's um i don't know i'm gonna have to check the horsepower and stuff i'm sure that somewhere inside the house there or somewhere inside an office somewhere there is some form of uh there is some form of um of information and uh, and stuff on on these tractors so all right here we go the uh the trees are the trees are actually looking pretty good to be honest so i'm pretty excited that uh that we may actually get a really good crop i'm pretty sure that this was really 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 well looked after um by by the previous farmer unfortunately <clears throat> he died in hospital which is a little bit sad um it seems that he didn't uh yeah i don't know he uh he just passed away it wasn't long it wasn't long after they'd uh after uh Stacorp had done the deal with him so strangely enough but there you go <laughs> i don't know what uh, i'm assuming that his uh that his money's gone to his family i don't know why his family wouldn't have wanted to take over um working on this but uh, and working the plantation but i you know this thing with farming isn't it it seems to be the thing with farming all of the young people are all uh are, they all seem to be moving out leaving leaving the like leaving leaving their properties and leaving their parents and uh not taking over the family farms so which is a little bit sad really when you think about it um, so a lot of these uh, generational farms, and we find this a lot in Stacorp, a lot of these generational farms are actually um, uh, a, 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 the, the generations. The generations are finishing. You know, they're they're not um, they're not carrying on. Their their children these days aren't carrying on. They're more moving to cities and going to universities and doing completely different jobs. So, but farming has become a very very hard thing. I know that um, <clears throat> I, I watch YouTube quite a lot uh, in my sort of uh, in my evenings and stuff when I'm having a meal and stuff back at the farm there and uh, you know to try and stay it's the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in the world because unfortunately you know you have um, um, we have local um, we have local uh, news and uh, hardly any international news over here so I kind of uh, tend to stick to watching some of the news companies and, uh, and news programs and current affair programs and stuff that uh, that I would have normally got in Oz and stuff. And I was watching a um, I was watching an article uh, like a story the other day about uh, about farming in Australia. And strangely enough, they're saying exactly the same thing. You know, um, um, people's children aren't taking over the farms anymore they're all moving away they're all moving away from the country to the cities and and uh and these family generational farms are all sort of um they're they're all being bought up by corporate i mean i guess you know i can say well i work for a corporation don't i and we buy up farms like we've bought this one and stuff um but they were also saying which is very very interesting that these days in farming um <clears throat> you can't you can't make a as as a small farmer or as a single farmer unless you are unless you are very very big in regards to uh the amount of land and the amount of crop and the amount of uh, people you have working for you uh you cannot survive you cannot survive as a farm anymore and this is why a lot of corporations are buying up massive farms um and sort of melding those so they'll go into an area and they'll buy up you know five or ten farms and they'll sort of uh, mold those farms together into one gigantic farm and produce um because of the prices that uh, the farmers are getting and stuff on um 
in, uh, in you know like the prices that they get for their product in supermarkets and stuff like that so for example um, over here in regards to a uh, in, in regards to a pumpkin and there was one guy on there uh, one farmer on there that uh, he had an entire massive field I think it was about two acres of pumpkins and they were all just sitting there rotting on the ground and he said well it's not worth it hasn't been worth with the current state of uh, state of the market and stuff like that it hasn't been worth um, um, the 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 expense to pick them because out of those pumpkins like full pumpkins you know a supermarket might get you know maybe ten dollars or, or more out of a uh, out of a full pumpkin um, and he said you know he would only get um, by the time they were all picked and stuff he would only get the around 15 cents a pumpkin or something um, uh, and selling it selling it wholesale to the to the supermarket chains and stuff so so an entire you know a couple of acres of pumpkin just sitting there rotting just absolutely rotting and one of the things that I would really like that you know that, that's always sort of been a passion of mine working with Stay Corp is to is to try and ensure that and it's one of the things that I really like about working for Stay Corp is that Stay Corp, yes, they started off as a hotel chain and then they started uh, buying up farms and stuff. I don't know how they got into agriculture um, in the beginning, but, um, you know, I probably should, seeing as how I do work for them. But um, one of the biggest things was um, that, that, that really appealed to me about Stay Corp is the fact that... Um, that they buy up farms like this, like this, uh, like this uh, plantation here, and one of the most important things for them is to is to make sure that when they come into an area like this, they don't bring in a whole pile of people who work for Staycorp. They bring in the local community. They bring in the local dealers, um, and they pay them not what they would get paid you know working on a coffee plantation in central brazil but what they would get working on a farm in you know another country such as america or uh, or australia or, or or anything like that so that um so that they ensure that they're putting really good money back into um back into the community and things like this coffee you know, Stay Corp can Stay Corp if they if we if we can produce some really good coffee here, Stay Corp are going to um, um, you know they're going to be able to sell that at a really really good profit because coffee is a, is actually a um, uh, quite a commodity and at the moment um, there is sort of a a little bit of a dip in the supply of coffee because a lot of these little plantations like this one are being sold off or um, or not being carried on by future generations and the farms are just sort of dying off and as opposed to somebody like Staycorp coming in and continuing on with the production that these farms have they're just sitting there and rotting away the land's being sold off and a lot of these big corporations are buying these farms not to farm but to to actually develop the land. And that's one of the really big things. And then we, we, we start seeing things like the massive shortage in coffee and stuff and the premium price that everybody pays for coffee. It's, it's, uh, it, it's quite scary, to be honest. It is quite scary, but um, <clears throat> hopefully we might be able to, um, uh, after, our first, uh, after our first initial uh, um, run on this and our first initial run of coffee once we get into getting the right blend getting the right bean happening um, we will be able to reinvest in this farm and make it larger create more jobs in the community create hence creating a bigger um, a bigger amount of profit of uh, not profit but uh, of, of product to uh, to sell on the international market so um, it's it's going to be tough. I've got a lot to learn about uh, about doing coffee, but um, but I do plan on making sure that I know all of the ins and outs by the time uh, by the time we're ready to sort of harvest. Now, 
I've done a little bit of a read up and stuff, which is uh, which hence is why I know that I need to get this cultivated here, <clears throat> or ripped, or ploughed, or turned over, or however you want to call it. But um, but I still, uh, when it comes to actually producing um, the coffee, the roasting, and all that type of stuff. Uh, I, I do need to do a lot more research just to make sure that I'm getting it right. We've got a beautiful, uh, we've got a beautiful plant up there that uh, that we can roast our coffee in. <coughs> um, I do have to organise to have all of that machinery checked over and uh, sorted out and make sure that it is in perfect running order for when we uh, for when we do finally do these beans, which I think is. Um, in October, these beans should be ready. So it's it's now April. Uh, it's now middle April. So it's it's not too far away. Not too far away, but uh, uh, it's, it's a pretty exciting thing. It's a pretty exciting thing, and I hope that you guys are, are going to enjoy uh, running on this journey with me because uh, uh, it's it's a new foray. It's a uh, you know a new thing for us to do is to uh, is to get into coffee production and stuff, and and I think that. Uh, I think that it's going to be very, very, very viable. Very viable indeed, so. But uh, what I might do, guys, is I might, uh, yeah, I might, I think I might get a drone up and uh, and do a little bit of uh, following of, um, uh, of of this process, of this first process that we are doing on these, uh, on the in this coffee plantation, because I think it'll be a really good thing to see and a really good thing to archive and um and we'll uh and then i will see you once i have done that this one <clears throat> which is uh which is really really cool um we've, we've still got obviously a few to go but i do need to get into jacko um and uh and see the guys over there because as i said they they have organized for uh for workers to come on the farm um i also organized pre-organized uh i think it was last month um a an aerial survey of the area so um, so we do have uh, aerial information on our uh, on our PDA and uh, on my iPad about uh, of the of the farm itself and of the area. So we should be able to uh, we should be able to have a good look at, uh, at what's going on on that as well, which is really really cool. Um, we're bringing in some uh, some technology that will allow us to uh, that allow us to record uh, different states of the of the fields and stuff like that. So. Um, so that should be all right, and it'll allow us to monitor what needs to be done over here as well. I'm just going to uh, jump out here and have a little bit of a squeeze of that. That looks like it's uh, that looks like it's worked really, really well, really, really well. I don't know what stage of fertilisation these are on, so I'm probably going to have to do some tests and stuff. 
um, so that I can try and uh, determine what stage of fertilization has been put on these fields but uh, but that's all good that's all good we can do that and we can organize that now I did want to know uh, how much fuel is in this uh, in this tank here I would like to know how much fuel is in this tank you know, it sounds uh, it sounds relatively empty, so I'm probably going to have to organise to uh, to get some of that done as well. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot to do here, a lot to do by the looks of it. But uh, for now, we need to get into Jackco. We need to see the guys at Jackco, and uh, and see who we have in regards to uh, employees and stuff like that, uh, and hired workers. So. Uh, we will be testing. We'll, we'll be testing people out, and um, there we go. I'll just get that down. We'll be testing people out and um, seeing, um, you know, giving them a, a little bit of a run. There's a lot of really experienced people around. You know, a lot of the people around here have probably worked on this farm already, um, helping out the, uh, the the original owner and stuff. So we should be able to draw on their knowledge, and uh, they should be quite sort of conversed in in the equipment and the materials and all that type of stuff so um so i'm hoping to sort of utilize those people jackco have organized for those people for me to be able to get in contact with them so we'll head over and we'll see jackco in a minute that's looking good that is looking really good and uh and see what uh see what they have to say so i wonder what the farmers are going to be putting in these fields here they're not, uh, they're not super large fields. They've got a road running straight through the middle of them, but uh, hmm, it'd be interesting to see what, uh, what they will be putting in there. I do want to go for a drive at some point out to... Um, I would like to go for a drive out to, uh, out to the uh, sugarcane fields as well and see, what, uh, see what stuff's going on there. It will be, um, it would be really, really interesting to see because I've never seen any sugarcane work done before, so... Um, so it'd be nice to get out there and uh, and see what we've got. At least we've got a uh, full tank of fuel in here, anyway. That's even better. All right, let's uh, let's pull in here. It doesn't look like they've turned around too much equipment, does it? Hmm. There you go. It is what it is. All right, let's turn him off. And out we go. Hopefully nobody's coming to uh, pick up any of that stuff. That's a big sprayer, isn't it? That is a huge sprayer. I was wondering, I was wondering, to be honest, um, whether that spray helicopter that, uh, that's uh, back at the farm, back at the airport, I was wondering whether that would actually be a, a viable option for spraying these crops and whether uh, financially it would work in a lot better. Hmm. It may do. It may do. All right. Just, uh, there's no bell to ring. I will just wait here until somebody comes. I will go and see these guys. I will see you when that's done. Okay, beautiful. All right, so, yep, the uh, whole pile of workers are lined up. They did ask whether we received that equipment that they sent down to our farm, the sprayers and stuff, uh, which I said, yeah, no, yeah, we, 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 we got them. That's a nice secondhand tractor, isn't it? I said, yeah, we got them. No worries. That's all. That's all fine. Uh, but we haven't had a chance to test them out yet. So, um, so I do have to give them a, a a bit of a full report once we test those. Uh, once we test those pieces out, and uh, they're definitely interested in the possibility of us doing uh, from the farm, doing a little bit of um, sort of Jacko um, dealer stuff down in the area that we're in so th that that in itself would be pretty cool as well that would be absolutely awesome all right we're going to head over to the uh we're going to head over to the uh production facility and uh we're going to see the guys over there going to meet the uh meet the machinists and stuff and uh and the guys that are going to make sure that that is all up and running correctly so um, so we'll head over there and see those guys and work it out from there. What are we doing here? You guys walking across the road? Yes, you are. Thank you very much. There we go. It's a, it's, it's, it's more of a bustling town than the, uh, the, than the, uh, little settlements that, uh, that we're used to, isn't it? 
it's much more of a bustling town here than the settlements we're used to so it's good to see people about and there's our facility there where are you going buddy I'm going out anyway despite the fact that that's a stop sign okay beautiful got to open all of this up and get all of this opened up and uh, meet these guys over here all right let's get those open beautiful lovely lovely I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a wash when we get back uh, I might actually uh, I should, should drop by Jacko again and see if I can grab myself a uh, a bit of a uh, pressure washer or something that we can put out on the farm all right beautiful well, these guys should be here should be here any minute so I might open everything up get everything all organized and ready for them to come and uh, start doing work on this equipment uh, I think they're going to grease it up uh, they're going to grease everything up they're going to check all of the belts they're going to just make sure everything's in operational order for us so that should be pretty good so I might uh, wait for these guys and I'll probably see you back at the uh, back at the uh, plantation I think Okay, lovely. <clears throat> Just unloaded that from the ute. Let's uh, give it a bit of a go and give this thing a little bit of a clean. I did decide to, uh, I did decide to actually stay out there uh, at the at the uh, the coffee facility and uh, hang out with the tradies that were doing the job. They were doing an absolutely awesome job, greasing everything up, and uh, they were greasing everything up, and they were getting. Um, oh, there we go. A little bit long there in the tooth and uh, replacing all of the belts and stuff. So that was good. That was really, really good. So that, that facility should be okay um, for us to, to go ahead with. They did test everything out and everything was actually really, really good. So uh, in the meantime, we did have somebody... Let's take this over here. They do. Uh, I did have uh, somebody come down and, uh, and start work on... Uh, Actually, we'll take this, I think. Uh, and start start a little bit of uh, a little bit of work in uh, in the uh, the trees over here. So I'll just go out and check it out and see how it's gone. I think that uh, that block in front of us that that needs to be done and sorted out, but uh, it was uh, this field here that I asked them to start on. so let's have a squeeze at that. Yeah, everything looks, everything's looking pretty good in here. Lovely. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. All right, beautiful. So we've got that one to go. We'll probably do that in the morning because it is getting late in the afternoon. I did send, I did spend a little bit too much time out with, uh, out with the uh, tradies out there, but it was, uh, it was well worth it. I wanted to sort of see what was going on and to not... I wasn't there to make sure that they were doing everything right. I was more there to uh, to get a little bit of an idea of the equipment and stuff uh, and what type of maintenance that we're going to have to do on it. So uh, it was definitely a, uh, a well worth my time to be out there and doing that. So I'm going to stay here for the night, I think. I am going to stay here for the night and... Uh, finish off some of this work tomorrow and then I need to I do need to head back I do need to head back south because um, we've got lots going on over there we've got landscapers over there at the moment um, sorting out uh, sorting out some some uh, mature tree planting uh, what else are they doing uh, putting in some fencing we've got the fencing going in uh, as well which started uh, a couple of days ago um, so we've got a lot going on over there. Uh, the campsite has been uh, has been laid out. I uh, I I finalised all the plans for that. So uh, the little road network there and the camping site and all of the plots for the camping site have been sorted out as well. Um, I think they're still going at the moment on um, on all of the uh, uh, filling of the lakes and stuff, which should be done pretty soon as well. So there you go. I should have drunk that coffee. I made that coffee about lunchtime today, and uh, yeah, I didn't drink it. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna fire up this, 
Uh, I'm going to be cooking on this. Uh, this is going to be interesting and different to be cooking on this. Um, but I'm going to get some timber. I'm going to uh, fire this up, make myself a cuppa and uh, cook myself a paella or something like that, I think. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Ah, uh, all right. A lovely, lovely, lovely cup of coffee and some breakfast. I have, uh, before breakfast, I came out and I... Uh, I hooked up before I said actually before I went to bed last night but uh, before breakfast I came out and uh, opened everything up but I uh, let's turn my torch on there it's another wet 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 morning up here I hope we're getting this uh, type of rain down south as well um, the guys came and delivered the uh, fuel for that so that is absolutely awesome last night before bed I hooked this up and I've come out this morning um, and we need to uh, we actually need to uh, get some of this stuff out, I think. Uh, what have we got? We've got some fertiliser over in the back corner here. We've got a whole pile of fertiliser. So I need to grab one of those out. I might uh, take a tractor. There we go. Lovely. I'll grab a... Uh, I don't know whether we... Uh, I don't know whether we had a tractor with a front-end loader. Yes, we do. We have a loader itself. Ah, see? Brains. Brains. All right, let's uh, fire this up. All right, lovely. Okay, there we go. Uh, this will, uh, this will, well, I haven't used one of these before, which is pretty cool. Might actually turn the uh, back work lights on as well, I think. Make it a little bit easier. I'm hoping that this rain is going to, uh, is going to um, subside a little bit. To be honest, I would like I would like for it to subside a little bit. I do want to get some spraying done. I think we'll be all right doing some spraying in the rain. I think we should be okay, but um, I'll give it a go anyway because I know that we do need to spray these fields and get them uh, get them all sorted out. There we go, lovely articulated vehicles. There we go. Nice. Bring you back as well. I might actually, uh, might actually close these doors off as well. I think while I'm at it, uh, I think we're going to have to relocate this as well. I'll relocate that to a uh, to a much better position too. That'll. Uh, it's kind of not in the in the place to uh, to be loading any of this stuff, is it? But uh, thankfully, we've got a lot of uh, turning circle and stuff on this. So, all right, beautiful go out here I'll uh, drop this down I'll do some uh, I'll, I'll load this uh, I'll load this in I think it's probably gonna take two or three of these I think so I'll drop him down there all right perfect that should be uh, that should be the last load I think we'll get this back in the shed and uh, hopefully it starts to lighten up very very soon we'll take this out and we'll uh, we'll give everything a little bit of a spray I think and see how we go uh, let's see, am I going to sort this out? I'll sort this out at some other point. I won't sort it out now. I'll sort it out at some other point. So we'll drop him in there. Beautiful. And bring you out. Thank you very much. Might actually leave this here, I think. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Man, it is uh, it's pelting down. It is absolutely and utterly pelting down. That's okay. Let's get in here and see if we can uh, see if we can't fire this little beast up. There we go. Get some lights on. Might get some front and some rear work lights on as well. And uh, we'll head out here and uh, start giving this a bit of a spray. So by the time I leave today, at the end of today, I want to make sure that I've got everything uh, working as it should, so uh, or everything ready to go. So I want to have all of these sprayed uh, and fertilised to the point that we need to have them fertilised, uh, and I want to make sure that they've all been uh, that they've all been ploughed as well. There we go, lovely. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. 
It's actually uh, it's, it's actually quite nice, despite the fact that it's pouring rain. It is definitely definitely not cold. Definitely not cold. All right, let's get ready to turn that off, and there we go. Beautiful. I think I might run down every uh, every every aisle. I reckon. I think that might be a uh, a better idea. I think. I'll just have a quick squeeze at the ground and see what it's like after uh, after we've done this run. We may be able to do every second run. We'll see how we go. Make sure he's spraying. Yep, it is beautiful. Well, at least it all works all right. At least it all works all right. I think I've got a couple of nozzles there that might need cleaning out, so I'm probably going to have to pull those off at some point and, uh, and have a look at them. And it's probably worth going over the gear like that anyway. It's, uh, it's been, you know, I don't know how long since it's been used. As I said, these have been looked after pretty well, so there we go. Beautiful. I'll get out and have a squeeze. Yeah. I might go down, I think I might, uh, just for safety's sake, I think I might go down every single aisle, I reckon. It's probably a better bet to do. If I can get this around there. And we'll head into here. Lovely. Alright, sweet. Sweet. Going well. I don't know whether to put the drone up. I don't know how the drone's going to go in this weather, so... We'll probably just uh, just hang out at this point and uh, uh, what are we doing? Let's see. Yeah, so as, 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 I, was, as I was mentioning last night, um, we've, we've got a lot of work going on back at the uh, uh, back at the resort and back at the farm. So we've got um, we've got a fair bit of uh, uh, landscaping being done. Landscaping's not too bad. Um, the carpenters have built are building a board boardwalk as well which is really, really cool. Um, they're building that uh, around the lake where the resort buildings are going. Um, we're putting a barbecue, uh, some seating, some walkways. Um, the electricians have been working really, really hard on uh, getting lighting done as well, which is really, really important. So um, walkway lighting, safety and all that type of stuff. Uh, the foundations are going down, I think, today for the uh, for the nice entrance way that we are going to build to the resort. So that should be really, really good. And we've we've had a portable building brought in for um, as kind of a uh, a camping site office and and a point of contact for all the clients and stuff there. So that should be okay. I'll turn you off. There we go, don't want to waste, we don't want to waste. Um, so so that building is going into place, uh, the stumps and stuff have been put in the ground, so that should be, that should pretty well be done by the time I see you guys next time. Um, we're hoping that, uh, it looks like we might be lucky building material wise. Um, we may have uh, got a shipment of timber um, and some other building supplies, a little bit of render and all that type of stuff. So hopefully things are going to go ahead now on the uh, on the resort buildings themselves uh, or the resort accommodation. So that is pretty awesome as well. Um, yeah, everything is going really, really well. I'm really, uh, really happy and pleased with with the way it's all working out. So. This one here as well. There we go. Lovely. I feel like I'm actually really, really achieving something. Really achieving something. But uh, once we get all the workers happening on here and stuff, I won't have to do quite as much of it myself. I do definitely want to be here for the harvest um, and for the carting over and uh, the creation of our, our new range of uh, coffee beans and our new product of coffee beans so that should be really good I'm pretty excited about uh, about getting the first batch off actually turn you off spin you around thank goodness for tyre tracks hey and knowing where you've been and where you haven't been 
excellent. It's uh, it's getting a little sloppy in here. I'm getting a little bit worried, but uh, I think we should be all right. I'm not exactly sure what time it started raining during the night, but uh, it was definitely raining when I got up this morning, and it's been sort of pretty constant. It's been a pretty constant rain, which is uh, probably really, really good for uh, for all of the product and everything. I'm hoping that this fertilizer isn't going to um, isn't going to wash away because I would be uh, I would be quite upset if it did. I can tell you, very upset if it did. But it should be all right. It should take okay. Okay, there we go. Around we go as well. So a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. But I think it's going to really pay off. I think it's going to really really pay off for us. So turn him on. There we go, and off we go again. Beautiful. It's uh, it's kind of hauntingly beautiful being out here amongst these trees and uh, running a tractor down these vines um, at this time of the morning, in the rain, in the dark. It's uh, it's it's very very nice, very nice indeed. I'm finding it very relaxing actually very relaxing so it's probably the perfect time to do it and the perfect time to be out I don't know what I'm going to do with that lake we're probably going to end up drawing water from that lake I think okay this one here we'll get you done we'll probably do the other side of this and then go up and there's a couple of little other bits and pieces to uh uh, to do on this run then I'm going to go and uh, do the next field and stuff like that but what I am going to do guys is uh, I'm going to leave this vlog here I hope that you have enjoyed this one I hope you're as excited to see how we go with coffee uh, uh, as I am uh, I haven't done as I said I'm new to uh, I'm new to producing coffee uh, new to uh, the whole concept of um, of, of producing coffee and stuff so hopefully hopefully um, I can successfully do it and it can be a really successful thing I mean I did come out here and have a look at it I did give it the stamp of approval and put a good report in for um, um, for head office and uh, they've basically purchased based on all the information that I gave them so I really don't want to let them down I really don't want to let them down but uh, I don't think I don't think we will I think uh, I think everything's going to go really really well here and um, yeah it, it it is it's going to go really well and it's going to be a great success so a little bit uh, a little bit of a workout for me running between uh, running between two farms but you know we're only we're only an hour away we're only an hour's flight away and thankfully we have use of the helicopter um, I'm trying to convince uh, head office to actually purchase me a helicopter, um, which might actually, I think it would be a viable thing for them to purchase me a helicopter, even if it's, you know, just a second hand. I'm not asking for anything brand new, but uh, I think it would be, um, I think it would be quite advantageous to have our own as well. It'll allow me to uh, continue to survey crops. Uh, continue to fly in between here and uh, and uh, the resort, the main resort and farm up north, uh, down south, sorry. And uh, so it should be, I think it would be a viable option for them. So hopefully, hopefully they'll agree to that. But uh, I will see you guys in the, uh, in the next vlog that I do. As I said, I really hope that you have enjoyed this one. There we go. Perfect. And that is, uh, that is our first lot of spraying done. Our first lot of spraying. I did have a look at the quality of the soil over on the, over on the other areas and they seem to be pretty good. So I'm hoping, that, uh, I'm hoping that we won't really have to do much spraying over there at all, if any. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye for now.